Welcome back to Minecraft versions. Today we are upgrading to Java Edition 1.2.1. 1.2.1 was the first major update to Minecraft after its after its official release in 2011. And it was released on March 1st, 2012. It added a new height limit of 256 blocks, which changed from 128. Began, it introduced the new jungle biome, wooden bridges and mine shafts, and desert wells. It also added new blocks and items, bottles of enchanting, redstone lamps, fire char charges, and chiseled stone bricks, and two moon new mobs, iron golems, and ocelots. Blocks, we've got the chiseled stone brick, redstone lamp, jungle log, jungle leaves, and jungle sapling, along with a couple of new sandstone textures, that were not available in game and have no block equivalent. Bottles of enchanting, fire charges, ocelot spawn egg on creative mode, the iron golem, the ocelot for mobs, and for world generation, we've got jungle biomes featuring jungle trees and. Oak trees can also be found there, with jungle leaves covering much of the forest floor, desert wells found rarely in deserts, mine shafts, zombie sieges have changed, and for the most part, beyond a couple of texture changes, a few collision block changes and such, and a few sound effect changes are all that have changed beyond the mob changes. Cave spiders now swim quickly, creepers no longer strafe to the player's left but now simply stop in front of the player when they're about to explode. Villagers now have the ability to breed, tamed wolves can be bred using bones, Zombies can break down doors on hard difficulty and in hardcore mode, which introduces the hardcore mode. Now have a rare chance to drop an iron ingot, iron helmet, iron shovel, or an iron sword. We'll now navigate to near shadow or body of water for safety when they catch fire. And we'll chase and attack villagers. Skeletons now have a rare chance to drop a bow on enchanted bow. And we'll also navigate to the near shadow or body of water when they catch fire. Snow golems now melt and die in the nether. And zombie pigmen now have a rare chance to drop a golden helmet, golden ingot, or golden sword. And now swim faster in water. There's a few changes to the F3 or debug screen. Multiplayer no mode has been added. Third person view has also been added, and a couple of bugs have been fixed. And all of this information is on the man minecraftfandom.com website under the Java Edition 1.2 tag. So, let's proceed to gameplay. And we are back. We have had a few game changes. I've been working a little bit in off screen on a couple of things. So I did take the time and remember that carrots are not in the game yet as of 1.1, which means pigs can be bred with wheat. So we have a fair amount of pigs on up here. They are in a hole because 1.1 or 1.0 did not have fences. So, I tried a dozen different crafting recipes, nothing else. But, so they're in a hole. Beyond that, we have set up a little bit of a farm over here. I've had a little bit of trouble. Farming definitely has been updated since 1.2. It has a little bit of different mechanics that I'm trying to get used to. But, in the meantime, we've also been exploring the various caves 
making caverns that are around, lighting them up, but then also seeing where they lead. A couple of them have led down into the cave systems we've already explored down below, but we have been working on exploring. Speaking of explorations, It is time to do some exploring of our own, if we can do that. So go ahead and go in here. Oh yes, our main section has changed up a little bit. I've widened it and set up our chest. A caveat of the chest in as of this update, and it is changed eventually, is that you cannot ch set two chests directly next to each other. You can set them categorically like this. But you cannot set them directly next to each other, hence why this block is empty. So to give more room, it has been spread out. Second thing, if we go ahead and head this way. Probably not something to do too often. Our food problem has only been somewhat managed. We've had issues with the farm, which has not helped us greatly. But if we head on down here, we do have a section over there, which I still have not lit up. We haven't gone that direction yet. But if we go this way, yes, you can probably see it. We have a dungeon. It is a zombie dungeon. We have already looted it. I actually should probably just go ahead and pick up these blocks. And we will soon be making that into a... That's a strange noise. Try and make that into a somewhat decent experience farm that we will not be enchanting quite yet I do intend to enchant eventually to do that I will need some experience levels it doesn't pay to enchant quite yet for the specific reason that I believe about 1.4 the entire system got an overhaul and the enchantment went from level 40 requirement to a level 30 requirement that we know now. So, we have been doing a little bit of explore exploration down there. And, now that we have some of these. Nope. We still do not have a bed or a boat that actually works, so. Seems like we are just going to have to swim. And I will show you what I mean by that. I can go ahead and make this. the spider. I don't see the spider, but I hear it. I also did see that enderman. Oh, spider. There we go. Are you going to attack me too? Nope. Oh well. I will. We do not have much strength. So, getting some is very useful. Now, if I try putting this boat in the water, we get that. I can get in it. Oh, it actually is working somewhat. That will be an update since the 1.2 or the 1.1, which I tried just a little bit ago. But, 
the boat actually moves now. We are going to explore this swamp biome a little bit. And we are actually going to go back to base real very quickly. Because I did forget something which we are going to need. see one of the other issues with the boats. Let's see, we are going to need a couple of these because we are going to go ahead and make a set of shears real quick. in case. And yes, when that boat breaks, we only get a couple pieces of wood and some sticks back, so we are not getting the full amount that we put in out. go. I seem to be having a glitch with my game. There we go. And we should be able to go ahead and take these shears and go ahead and get a couple of vines. We can all go ahead and shear some sheep as well. There are plenty of them over here. Got a bit of a rocky stony shore area right over here. Which is interesting considering we didn't get that biome until one point. 19 our most recent update but so i suppose it isn't a real stony shore but it certainly looks like it you can sort of see a jungle biome over there which we are not going to approach quite yet because jungle biomes do not spawn a 
jungle temple until 1.3. So, we are not going to go visit them until after that. We'll go ahead and start solving a little bit of our food issue while we are over here, however. We're going to go ahead and head back this way. another one. It's probably coming from right before, below the ground right here. But we won't be going exploring, so. Okay. We've done some exploring. Seen for the most part what this area has to offer and that it does lead to actual, more of a mainland type thing, which is definitely reassuring. Because then it will be much easier to eventually find some villages and that kind of stuff for our later game, especially after the villagers get the jobs back, job blocks and trades and all of that kind of stuff in the 1.14 village and pillage update. I mean, we do intend to be pretty far into our game by then, if not to the end, pretty close to it, but it is still a useful thing to have once you eventually get that far. And we do intend on or at least I do intend on spending these early updates will probably be only one or two episodes but once we start getting into some of the bigger major updates and we start seeing a lot of biome changes and that kind of thing we do have this humongous jungle biome that was added in this update, but the second half of the jungle up biome update did not come until 1.3, which is why we are not exploring. We will be definitely doing some major exploring here soon. However, once we start getting into some of the big biome updates that came later on, we will be doing, we will be spending more time in more, some more of these updates. I believe, and even some of the ones that don't have a biome specific update, I believe it's the 1.5 redstone update. The major one that's for, that did a lot of update to redstone mechanics and that kind of stuff, we will definitely be doing, spending five or six episodes on 
And again, this is just how the episodes go if one task ends up being really easy and we get all of our resources all in a row. We may combine some of my episode plans. Otherwise, I've got a tentative episode plan laid out, but it all depends on how this grows. Some of the stuff I can't do until the episode is literally introduced. Speaking of which, if we go ahead and head on down here, for example, building, we pulled sort of, I built this center down here and it's sort of a base area, which will be our main base area for the moment. We don't really have a bunch of block types beyond some gr some walls and I'm not even certain that we have... Oh. Looks like we do have some do some dyes. We could do different colors with wool, but wool is also fire. Um, also lights on fire very, very easily. So I don't want to do that. It's very not blast resistant. Another issue with it. So again, we just don't have a lot of building blocks available to us quite yet, so I am trying to hold off a little bit on building too many big things and get our main resources out of the way, trying to get some stocks built up in this first early game and start working on making sure we have everything stocked up for later on when we start getting to those bigger updates. came back up here for a reason. Now that that is done, however, we're going to go ahead and head back down here. Oh, this should be enough. That one doesn't go in this one. Go ahead and put our wool in here. We're going to go ahead and go in here for the most part. The mushrooms don't. This doesn't go in here rest of this can. We did manage to get a music disc. We'll have to listen to it as soon as we get the resources to do that. You go ahead and go in here. And the rest of this goes on here. There we go. Let's see if I can remember properly this recipe. Or is it still not the correct update? Nope, that's a fence gate. It is interesting that we can do fence gates but not fences. But that doesn't work. Am I doing it wrong? Is it supposed to be that way? Nope, that's a ladder. Well, I will have to look that up. If you guys know what that recipe should be, go ahead and mark it down below. I thought I had it right, but it seems I did not. Or I could be wrong, and this isn't the correct update. It may not be until the next 1.3 update, so... We've got about five more minutes. Let's see if we head to the other end of this island. Of our island. And I am slowly but surely cleaning this island up of all of the trees. I don't usually do this, do that, but I plan on making this island more of an industrial district with a lot of our farms and that kind of stuff.
And so having those cleared out and flattened a little bit will certainly help with that. cows and sheep over here. It may have despawned. Oh, a wolf. I don't have any bones on me. I was wrong. There are plenty of pigs over here, but no cows or sheep. They may have been eaten by the wolves. As for the two pigs, I've got enough at my farm. Oh, nothing dropped. Go ahead and take care of these ones. Oh, that's disappointing. And I don't have anything else to make a new one. So the rest of them get a reprieve. Ah, there's a cow. This way, this way. We are going to go ahead and sleep. And that is going to be our episode for the day. So thank you for watching this episode of the Minecraft version season two. And I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful Minecraft day.